Do you know how I know that you're broke? You're eating at my restaurant because if you weren't broke, you would have your own restaurant. Enjoy. That's how you do it, Top G. You ladies are beautiful. Well, thank you. Are you virgins by chance? <laughs> You're hardly a virgin. What's your body count? You look like a high value woman. Did you want to take a picture? Are you sure? I saw you taking a picture of me over there. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't even know who you are. Sorry, bro. You weren't taking a picture. No. So you're a liar. Thank you. Yes. Was your dad taking a picture? He was. I thought he was taking a picture because his phone was like that. Uh, so I came up and I said, are you taking a picture of me? All you had to do was ask. Did you want a picture? Sure, I'll take a picture. Okay, top G. What's your favorite quote of mine? Machete, grab the throat. What about when I said, I will drag you out of your Tesla by your neck and you will do nothing. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. I said, I will drag you out of your Tesla by your neck in front of your chick and you will do nothing. Then I will get back in my Lamborghini Evo fully spec and drive off. You know what? I hate the weekends. That's why I'm out here on a Friday. I didn't realize it was broke Friday today. It shouldn't be called Black Friday. It's an excuse for brokies to go get a TV $5 off. All these people out here, they're slaves in the matrix. Are you part of Hustlers University? No, I'm not. Do you have another quote that you like? No, I don't have any. I don't remember any. Are you serious, my friend? I want to slap you right now. Let's take a picture. You got banned off the of socials. I'm on Twitter right now. I gained over a million followers on Twitter in 24 hours. Oh, yeah? Right. Do you consider yourself a top G? I would. You do? Would you let a woman drive your car? Good answer. I wouldn't let a woman drive the cheapest car I own, and that's a Bugatti. Women are the stupidest people on the planet. It's proven. I can prove it to you right now. We're some dumb bimbo over here. Let's go. You have a good one. You too. Thanks, man. Anytime. I'm Andrew Tate, a super villain. No, I'm a superhero. You look like um, a fancy bougie. Fancy bougie guy. I don't know who that is. A fancy bougie guy. No, I'm the real life James Bond. I'm better than James Bond. James Bond is just a movie. He's an actor. I'm real life GTA. You play Grand Theft Auto. I wish. You wish. See, I don't need to play Grand Theft Auto. All these men, they spend all the time in the world trying to upgrade their character, get the best guns, get the most money, get the most women, houses, cars. I don't need a video game to do that. I do that in real life. Oh, can you get sturdy? Sturdy. What's that? What is this rubbish? It looks like you. It looks like me. This is utterly and completely ridiculous. I'm out. The question is, why is it called Black Friday? It should be called Broke Friday. Are you no, I'm Andrew Tate, top G. Are you broke? What? A picture with me. I don't take pictures with peasants. I don't have time for it. Yes. Where did you buy your jacket? My it. jacket. So I bought my jacket at Men's Warehouse. Did you go to school by chance? I'm in university right now. You're doing nothing for yourself. <laughs> You're trapping yourself in the matrix. Get out now. Let me tell you something. I didn't have the time. I didn't have four years to sit there and listen to some geek talk about making money who's never made any money in his life and sit there and read, read, read a bunch of outdated knowledge when I could just look it up on Google for free. All you do in university is sit there and read, 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 read. You need to do, 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 do. Are you gonna learn how to play piano by somebody who read how to play piano or somebody who actually knows how to play piano? Awesome. No, your professor's broke. Men's Warehouse. Men's Warehouse. Thank, you. Thank you. You're very beautiful. Thank you so much. What's your name? Daniela. Tight. Are you single? Uh, it's complicated. It's complicated. Yeah. That's never a good thing. So what if I told you right now I could change your life? Mm -hmm. How? I could do anything for you that you want. So I have over 30 supercars, over $50 million worth of supercars. I have a very big mansion here. I also live in Romania because the government is much better there. I agree. Do you want to have children someday? Uh, no. I was going to say, I refuse to have children as nerds. I will not have a son carry the name Tate who is a nerd because if I do, one of us has to die and we will play Mortal Kombat and fight to the death. Your character. Have you ever been on a private jet? A few times. So well, how about a few more times? I'd say you're 11 out of 10. We'd have a very long, loving relationship together. 
really funny. So, let me get your number down here. No, I didn't say I was gonna give you my number. I thought you, who are you with right now? Someone. Well, the reason you aren't happy with him is because number one, he's broke. Number two, he's a dork. And number three, he's lazy. Does he have at least nine figures in his bank account? I don't know. So that's a big problem. Because if he was here right now, I'd slap him making me laugh. I'm a four-time world champion kickboxer. I drink 10 to 15 cups of coffee a day. Nothing phases me. I'm on number 16 right now. And the reason I talk so fast is because my brain processes information 10 times faster than the average human being. Okay. And I'm one of the greatest human beings to ever walk the face of the earth. Listen to me. If you walk away from me right now and don't put my phone number in your phone, it's the biggest mistake you're ever going to make in your entire life. And there's going to be another beautiful woman like her that is going to possibly get my number. The perspicacity that you are lacking is very incredible. Think about it for three more seconds. No. You're not going to do it. No. Wow. Women are stupider than I thought. I'm sorry. Unbelievable. Good luck. Are you smoking that in here? Smoking this in here. I do whatever I want. The lady at the front said I can't have it in my mouth. I said, go and take it out. Make me. I'll slap you silly. Brokey. Yeah. Hello. I'm waiting in line. It's going to take about 30 minutes, I think, because everybody's getting all this stuff with like 50 add-ons. I drink my coffee black. I don't need all these add-ons. What are you, a little soy boy? Just drink your coffee and shut up. Get it black. Simple. Are you stupid? I have 10 to 15 cups of coffee a day. If you don't drink caffeine, you're not taking advantage of the opportunity. I haven't been uncaffeinated in my life for years. What kind of man drives a Tesla? There's no man on the planet that I can't kick the living dog crap out of that drives a Tesla. I will literally drag you out of your Tesla by your neck in front of your chick and you will do nothing. Then I will get back in my Bugatti fully specced and drive off. I'm going to get back in line now with all these brokies. Before I go, let me remind you that Black Friday is just for broke people. You literally drive for hours trying to find a parking spot so you can save $5 on a TV. You're broke. You're broke. Excuse me. Why don't you make me do it? You're going to make me do it. Hold on. I got some brokey telling me what to do. Are you going to make me do it? I'm just asking if you could lower your voice, please. Excuse me. public space for everyone. Just do you know I own over 30 supercars? Okay. I appreciate that. Um, I do ask that you just keep your voice down. My voice yeah. down. Just a little bit. I do would appreciate it. I know it's very loud in here. Very loud. I couldn't hear anything when I was on the phone. Yeah, I do understand. And I'm pissed off because this line. I do apologize. You got sir. these people doing 50, 60 add-ons. What is this lady doing? I do apologize, sir. She must be broke. I'm out of here. Okay. Brokies. I can't imagine being one of these little brokies working a nine to five, oh. sitting in the back vaping all day. We were like, bro, like, that. like, bro, breathe air. This is how I talk. Breathe air and find a better job while you're at it. It's not that hard and tell your girlfriend to go in the kitchen and make you a steak. Why? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. Why? I said, I can't imagine being one of these little brokies working a nine to five, but you're beautiful. I'm not working today. You're beautiful, though. <laughs> you know, a rich man can change a broke woman's life, <laughs> but a broke woman will never even give a. A, a rich, I'm sorry, a rich, I'm sorry, you're so beautiful. No, I'm listen, not. listen, what's your body count? What's my body count? I don't know. Are you a virgin? Who? You're not a virgin. This is my daughter. It's your daughter, so you're not a virgin. No, she's a virgin. She's yes. a virgin. Well, she's about far too young for me, but you're perfect. <laughs> Can I get your number? I'm 50 years old. 50? That's about how many supercars I own. <laughs> so can I get your number? Are you serious? Yes. Your husband's probably a broke dork who works a nine to five, still living in the matrix. Tell him I said that. A Porsche is broke. Do you know how much caffeine I have in my body right now? I have enough caffeine in my body to kill a horse right now. I've had over 30 cups of coffee today. Ooh. Hello. Quick question. Are you able to wax my head? Because I'm sick and tired of shaving it every single day. Excuse me, miss. I wake up every morning, drive around in my Bugatti, and I certainly do respect women, and I certainly do not hang around brokies. You're very beautiful, by the way. What's your name? Are you a virgin? You seem to be a high value woman. She's not a virgin. I, you might be a virgin. She seemed a little bit offended. What's your name? I'm sorry. 
Look, I don't get offended. Do you know how many fat, blue-haired feminist trolls try to get on my nerves? It doesn't bother me at all. Are you single? I would prefer not to disclose that information. You wouldn't. Is your boyfriend broke? Is he a brokey? Yeah. He might be a dork, and he also might be a four. Might be the reason you're unhappy right now. You have a good night, lovely lady. You're beautiful. I could see us having a very long, happy, beautiful time together. Spend many years together. I'll be back tomorrow. Excuse me, miss. You know what pisses me off? Smart watches. Oh, I look, I took my, my little watch. Just pull your phone out, you buffoon. It takes two seconds. The Denver Broncos, one of the worst teams in the NFL. They suck. Yeah. I, I would ditch the hat. <laughs> Seriously, their worst quarterback in the history of the NFL, Russell Wilson. He's not terrible. That good. He's terrible. Literally robbery. How many million dollars did he get? I guarantee dog poo poo could play better quarterback than him. Because it wouldn't throw interceptions. Are you broke? No. Nope. Are you rich? You're rich? Yeah, you're rich. I'm rich. I'm worth hundreds of millions of dollars. What color is your Bugatti? Yeah. So you're broke. You don't have a Bugatti. That's when you know you're rich. I own over 30 supercars, my friend. 30. Trust me, my friend. Trust me. This one right here, he's a dork. Excuse me, women, ladies. Him over there, he was interested in talking to you, but he's too nerdy. He's a little geek. See how he's laughing when he sees a woman. Ooh, I see a woman. He wants to get your number. Would you be interested in him? He might be like 10 years older than 10 years older. How old are you? I'm 21. I'd say you're an 11 out of 10. One sec, of course. <laughs> yes. Top G. So listen, you're an 11 out of 10. I can see us having a very long, happy life together. Oh my God. You're beautiful. Thank you. So are you single? What do you have to no, say to I'm not. I say the reason that you're broke is because you're fat. <laughs> what? And you're lazy. I had a guy. He said to me, Tate, I'm thinking about killing myself. I believed it. It was so short. I said, before you kill yourself, at least get a six pack first. So he started sending me longer messages with physique updates. And then he finally got a six pack and then he killed himself. And I said, congratulations. At least he got a six pack first. You need to wake up. The matrix is trying to enslave you and control your mind. Excuse me. Are you broke? Are you broke? Yeah, he's filming. He's filming right there. What's that? Yeah, it's for YouTube. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's your YouTube channel? Cassidy Campbell. I gotta tell her it's a joke. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Miss, I'm just joking. I'm just playing a character. I'm literally just joking. I'm literally just messing with you. It's all, it's all an act. I tell your accent was fake, but I was just like... Whatever. Wow. Stop it. Totally. That's the worst Romanian accent. Romanian, no, it's not a Romanian accent. So I it's like this guy, no, so the guy I'm impersonating, it's like a, a weird accent where he's British and...